Carol O'Foury. Weekdays, 9 a.m. till 12. East Coast Radio. So welcome to you. If you're just joining us, you can join us on Facebook Live. We are live on Facebook. You can go to our East Coast Radio Facebook page. She's in the house. We see her on the TV. A lot of people interact with her for the first time on The Real Housewives of Durban. But the first time I met this lovely lady was in Johannesburg at 947. Uh, when I mentioned earlier when she was doing the 9 to 12 show, I was like on the weekends or something. And that's where I first, first met Sarisha. But we've come to see on our screen. She's a philanthropist. She's a businesswoman. She's a mom, she's a wife, and she's just an all-round fabulous lady. So, Risha, how are you doing? Hello, Carol. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> I was saying, like, I haven't been here. Right? I've never been to the studio. So how's it been like? Because you were on this side of the mic at some stage. Yes. Here at East Coast Radio. Like 500 and... years ago. Because <laughs> <laughs> the whole studio's changed. Like, everything is different. Right. I'm like, whoa, would I be able to do this now? Yeah, you would. Absolutely <laughs> would. Absolutely would. How has life been since leaving the microphone to do acting to do reality tv businesswoman vibes how has life been life has been good carol i i can't lie um my life has been good Mm. i feel like i'm just uh, i keep uh, putting myself out there and i i just i don't run into walls i'm i'm just going through them i'm i'm prospering yeah so i always want to just speak positivity into my life because i know that's the next step always positive always moving always going ahead right right now i mean a lot of people i mean we, I love watching The Real Housewives of Durban. I literally woke up early this morning to I catch... I you were on The Real Housewives. For two seconds, Sarisha. <laughs> <laughs> two seconds doesn't count. I saw you on season three, Carol. Let's go there. <laughs> so here we are on the show. I woke up early this morning to specifically catch this episode so that I would have reference of what's the latest. And coincidentally, you're not in this particular episode. And Carol, I was away. It was Kalina's awards day right. that night. And I was like, guys, sorry, I'll be a day later. Right. Because my child is always first. My family is always a, pro- a prerogative in my life so yeah they're going to take precedence no matter what absolutely and i'm glad i was there she got awards oh that is beautiful and i mean you you cannot miss your child getting full academic color sorry guys i'm a boaster if they're working that hard and you're not pushing them i gotta say it okay no i love it congratulations <laughs> to you too mom and Thank dad you. because clearly she's doing fantastic because you guys are guiding her pretty well um the show um you you are OG of the show. You've been literally since the show started. Four years, Carol, and counting. And season one, you were sort of, I say, I would say, not really shy. wanting to get in there. Yeah. Yes, I was shy. Just <laughs> watching, monitoring, making sure. Then season two, you came out a little bit. Season three, we saw more. And this season, hey, it's like. <laughs> You snatched a wig. You, <laughs> hey, you are there. You, I mean, some of your, your, your comments kill me. I mean, I tagged you in one last week when you're Oh, like, what was it? Which one? Well, Wikipedia says you're 43. <laughs> Sam, <laughs> Sam, I don't hate me. I Come was on. like, okay, so yeah. is this gradual you coming out of your shell or are you just getting more comfortable with reality TV or what is it that we're seeing? Because we're seeing a lot more of you, you know, being spicy. Yeah. yeah, Carol, I like that question. You're just like, you're diving right into the deep end. I mean, you know, like you can't be the king of pop and not own it. Yeah. Do you see what I did yeah. there, guys? No. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, uh, I, okay. I, 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 I see that. I see that. <laughs> so I'm just saying is that uh, you're right. Season one was like, okay, let me do this reality thing, you know, mm-hmm. like, um, and then I was feeling everybody out. And by season four, you're like, I know everyone. Mm-hmm. The newbies must just get into it and, you know, just like if we're going to say things, let's just say it, yeah. you know, and I feel more comfortable. I'm not yeah. going to lie. And I met someone in the mall a few weeks ago and they said, ah, Sarisha, you've changed so much, but I like it because, you know, you didn't want to go to the streets, but now they're bringing the streets to you. <laughs> so you must stay. <laughs> you must, you must get stay there. serving them. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I just if you can't, you know, do it, you just got to join. Just join the fun. Have fun. Realize that it's a show. When it's done, you got to go back to your life, your friends, your family. Yeah. And, you know, you choose the Nyana Nyana people from the show who are actually going to run with you. Yeah. And uh, they stay with you. They stay close with, uh, to you. Like Annie and I are still like as close as ever. You know, it's it, it doesn't end. When the show closes, those are the people that you're going to gravitate to. And it is what it is. It's vibration meets vibration. So who are you vibrating with? Uh, Slee's always my girl, obviously, yeah. and you know I've, I've taken a liking to a- Amy, okay, uh, a lot, a lot, and also Angel. And I know you're gonna say, "Oh my God, how does that work?" But yeah. you know, Angel's there's different sides to her, and you'll see it as the the show unravels. I'm not here to do any spoilers. I'll probably get wrapped on the knuckles, knuckles. Yes. So yeah. yeah, she she grows on you. You know, okay. there's a certain soft 
Nyana's that comes out. Right. So I take it that the other OGs you are not, are not homies on the weekends. No, no, no. We're not close like that, but they also have their own like bond, you know, okay. like Jojo, Maria and Nanku have become closer. But like it, what unfolds in the show is that, you know, that we Nanku and I come to a point where we're like, what happened to us, you mm, know, mm. and nothing ever happened to us. We're still... You, you know, she, Nanka was in a room and she's like, or somewhere in the sea drowning. I'm not, I'm not going to leave her. She's still my friend. Mm. I've known her since season one. So that thing inside your heart, it just never dies. Yeah. You will always be friends with yeah. Jojo, Maria, and Nanku. You right. know, it's like we've grown as a family. Right. I'm saying family because siblings fight. And yes. that's where we are now. We're fighting now. We might make up tomorrow. Who knows? Yeah, I yeah. love that. We're going to chat more about your philanthropy. We're going to chat more about your businesses. And then lastly, this segment is really all about uplifting women. So you're a woman. You've been in this entertainment industry. You've started your own businesses. You're raising amazing children. You've got like eight fur babies. Are they eight? Oh, uh, there's for now. Oh, okay. I've There's lost four. a few along the way. Oh. But they've had good years, Carol. Okay, fantastic. So we want to know about all of that, how you juggle it. What's your inspirational words for a woman who's looking up at your life and saying, she has it all together. Um, I can't relate because she has it all together. But we forget that behind the scenes, life is happening and you're navigating life to make it look like you have like it all together. Have. But Carol, so can I, I just that. say before we leave? Yeah. You know, guys, that I'm not sending you Facebook requests, right? I need to get to that. Please, that's can my just, question. Can I just say that? No, we're getting guys. that. That's my, one of Facebook. my questions there because I, when we put the picture up that you are coming, we had like <laughs> hundreds of people saying, can Sarisha please stop telling me about Bitcoin and <laughs> cryptocurrency and <laughs> friend Thank requesting you. people? So we'll unpack that as well. So that's all coming up. We're hanging out with Sarisha and I do. Carol O'Fori, weekdays 9 a.m. till 12. East Coast Radio. It's your daytime queen, Carol Ofori. You can join us on Facebook Live. That's right. Um, we are live in studio with our Woman Crush Wednesday, the amazing, beautiful Sarisha Naidu. We've been chatting everything, including how you've been sending people fa- <laughs> Facebook requests, telling them you can make them rich in two minutes with crypto <laughs> and Bitcoin. Um, please address this very fast. You have a lot of imposters. Carol, it started like two years ago when people said, did you send me a request? Because yeah. I'm chatting to you. And I said, no, guys, I don't have Facebook anymore. I just have Instagram. Right. And uh, people were like, oh, but I invested 30,000 rand. No. And then it, like stopped talking to me. And I'm like, but guys, why didn't you check with me before you did the investment? Like, oh, my gosh. So, Carol, it's been quite a journey um, seeing all these Sarisha is pop up everywhere. <laughs> There's like there is literally 200 from my last count, oh my and now gosh. I see Viv has started. Oh, guy, by guys, by the way, Viv is still alive. Oh yes. Just by the way, since we're talking all things like this, because right, know, right, right. Apparently, I lost him two days ago. Jeez. Oh, I mean, guys, if you you have to be more savvy mm. in this day and age. Yeah. I am not going to send you anything asking you to invest in anything because I know diddly about. Bitcoin, crypto, like it's not my game. Yeah. I'm not going to dabble there. Right. Come talk to me about laser. Come talk to me about, about those Source things. SA. <laughs> yes. Right. Let's talk about Source SA. This is your new baby to your portfolio of businesses. Yes. Source SA is my new baby. Thank you, Carol. It's, yeah. um, um, I know that we're going to miss you tonight because we're so having our big press launch tonight and I'm right. so excited about it. And I think that's where all my focus is like today. Yeah. And it's so weird when, um, you, I, I heard that you're going to interview me today. I was like, oh, wow, like planets are day, aligning. Yeah, yeah. It's like amazing. Yeah. So uh, Source SA is a frequency. Uh, it's a frequency where in the system of scalar waves, you heal your body. Okay. So your body operates, your cells are optimal on a, a millivoltage of 70 to 90. Okay. So when you drop down to about 20 to 40, your body's in dis-ease. And when your body's in dis-ease, you become sick. You have ailments like stroke, cancer, ADHD, uh, any sort of disease. But they say that your body has the ability to be at optimal cell millivoltage. And yeah. being in a scalar wave frequency, that's what it is. Your body pushes, your cells are forced to go up to that optimal millivoltage, forcing your body to heal itself. Right. So we've been open since December and it's been amazing wow. uh, people that have come through people who are giving me their stories people who are recovering people who are just so grateful that they can sit a, in a room and just sleep yeah and it's going to take care of it's itself take care you of know itself, it's, yeah. it's, uh, so i think like uh, your body is is made of healing it's your body can heal itself your body's made of frequency and it's just about keeping that frequency at all times for example i mean let's take the show um real housewives right i mean i could have the worst um response on a show but if I'm going to feed it 
then I'm going to go down to that level of vibration. But mm. if I don't feed it and mm. I just keep myself there, my body's going to stay in optimal because I'm forcing it to be in that space. So this is what it is. It's being forced to be in an optimal state. Uh, right. All the time and forcing your body to heal itself. And your branch is out at the Oceans Mall, right? At Oceans Mall. Inside you, lass. There we go. <laughs> Inside you, lass. And um, there's a lot of celebrations happening there because quite a few stores you're mentioning off air are opening there. Yes. Which is going to be a, a fabulous time to be out at Oceans today. You never yes. know who you'll see, um, which is fantastic. Um, so, Risha, you do a lot of philanthropy and I, I want to get to that and I want to get to inspiration and I'm running out of time. <laughs> ah, we need to do a podcast. Um, we do. So, let's, do, let's talk. Quick on your philanthropy. I know you, you give a lot, you know, outside of everything that you do, uh, you do a lot of giving. Talk to us about that. I think one of my pet, pet peeves with uh, that would be SPCA. Mm-hmm. I think they're a big, uh, dogs have always been a huge thing in my life for a very long time. And it's because they have, they have no voices. You have to be their voices, all animals, cats, dogs, you know, anybody who needs to be assisted. But I think... Um, I always say that the uh, your work should start at home mm. with the people that surround you. Mm. And if you can't help those that are closest to you, I am talking about the people who come to work for you on a daily basis. They actually need that help. They need to be spoken to. They need to be um, like, who are your kids? What are they doing? So if you can start there, if every housewife, I'm not mm. talking about Durban housewives, but if every housewife in a household can reach out to their uh, nannies or whatever and say, What's happening in your life today? What is it that you need? How can I help? If we can start there, that circle just grows. Yeah. But besides that, Viv and I always, um, you know, um, child welfare is close to our hearts. Uh, children's homes are close to our hearts. So it's the circle's ever growing and yeah. we're always ready to give. And I think that's our mission. Yeah. In the next 10 year rollout, that's our mission to just keep giving back. And what's your message of inspiration to women today that um, just need a little bit of help to get over the line? It just, I feel women think that everything is so easy. When they look at me, they think, oh, okay, she gets up, she does this. But sometimes it's very hard to get up. Sometimes it's very hard to get inspiration. You got to be real with yourself. And then you understand that I have to do this for my kids. I have to do this for my husband. I have to, you know, I have to be that person that the world wants me to be. And it's okay sometimes to have that day Mm -hmm. where you just want to be you. You know, you want to mope around. You you know, I think sometimes we're not allowed to be expressive. We're not allowed to have a bad day because we're women. Yeah. You know, so I think we should now be a little bit more in our feminine and allow ourselves to just have and be and feel what we want to feel okay. like you can see in season four. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> I, and, I, and I will say that much, you know, and I think it's, it's so true because you are, Sarisha, you're on TV, um, you're, you're wealthy, you have a great life. What we see, right? We don't realize that you're a person <laughs> and today, uh, today is not the day. So I'm going to tell you where to get off because today is just not the day. Yeah. And it's important to step into that when that moment is there. It's not that you must be that person all the time, but should it warrant, I get exactly what you're saying. I and have that's boundaries. Liberating. You got to have boundaries for yourself. Mm. Uh, like Annie says, you got to have, I have to have more vibes for myself. That yeah. was a, a very big lesson f- for me yeah. this year. And also to just say, hey, okay, you crossed that line with me. I'm not going to actually just say it's okay. Right. So that time must come in your life where mm. you don't have to be the people pleaser. You don't have to say, okay, mm. this is affecting me, but I'm going to keep quiet because I don't want to hurt her feelings. Yeah. Guys. Feel for yourself. Exactly. Put yourself first once in a while. It's important, you know. You yep. just get left behind. Love that. You just get left behind if you don't put yourself first. I love it. Sarisha Naidu, thank you so, so much. Um, on The Real Housewives of Durban, you can check her out. Of course, tonight it's happening. Ocean's Mall, Source SA launches officially. It's a party. And, of course, you see her with her fur babies living their best fur baby <laughs> life. Those pugs have a better life than me. You, uh, Buche, Rory, Reshni, Mr. P, and everybody put together. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, Carol. Carol O'Foury, weekdays 9 a.m. till 12, East Coast Radio.